Today we're going to be doing a dirt dive on this 2007 KX100. Uh, we did a build video on it. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. Uh, before we go ride, we're going to go over a few specs on this bike. It is a single cylinder, 99cc, uh, liquid cooled. It's got one radiator on the right side, and then some of the earlier models don't have the uh, false radiator over here. But this one does. Uh, Kickstart only, uh, and it's carbureted. And I don't believe it's changed through any of the years. It's got a six speed transmission, which most race bikes only have four or five. This one's got six, uh, chain driven. It's got the 19 inch front tire and the 16 inch rear tire, and that's considered the big wheel for these. I think the KX85s run like a 17 and a 14. So this would be like your next size up, the big wheel version. It's got front and rear hydraulic disc brakes. It's got 36 millimeter front forks and then the Unitrack uh, mono shock in the rear, both adjustable. It's got uh, 15 inches of ground clearance. Again, I believe that's from the bottom of the frame to the ground, so it's got 15 inches there. The dry weight on this bike, no oil coolant or gas or anything like that, is 149.9 pounds, so right at 150 pounds. Wet, it probably ain't another 20, if that. It's not a super heavy bike whatsoever. Seat height on this bike is 34.3 inches. I'm right at 5'5", five, 5'6". Five, five, I'll show you how I sit on this bike. Uh, the shock on here, I have it set a little uh, loose, so it sags down just a little bit. But I can kind of tiptoe on both sides, and I can, I can, I can flat foot one side, and have one foot on the peg. I feel good sitting down. We'll see how I am standing up once we get out riding. All around, a pretty comfortable bike it seems. I guess the only other thing to do now is just to go ride it. All right, we're here to do the dirt dive few people here today so we'll have to we'll have to kind of be careful I don't remember this bike being this short back whenever I used to have one and ride it So we're going to run through a few little things, like we're doing all of them, and kind of just see how this bike does. So far, this suspension's feeling good after the rebuild. It's, it's, eating, it's eating everything up pretty good. Bike feels good in the power. I'm digging, I'm digging. It definitely feels weird to stand up on. Go off these rocks. Yep, I ate that up pretty good. Yeah, this bike's a little bit shorter than I remember back when I had one. get around a little bit <laughs> trying to stay out of the mud uh, and I think that's what's messing me up not being able to really go as fast on it over all these bumps it just, it just feels like it's really short and I'm having to hold on to it kind of weird with my arms because like I can 
I can fully extend my arm. Like I can almost fully stand up here. But it, it just feels super weird. Like the like the whole thing's obviously smaller. second here drop down to first it's gonna make it up the hill we struggled right there because of that little root trying to get a little bit of a, a little bit of a clutch pop in there Looks like she made it though. She made it pretty good. <laughs> Try to get away from me a little bit, ain't you? <laughs> Up and over that route. Oh yeah. pretty good actually in my last dirt dive that I did out here I think it was on the KX 250F I did say that oh then I was curious how uh, a two-stroke and me on a two-stroke would perform out here and honestly so far so good I can't complain too much. Oh, Liam. Oh, all these rocks. Oh. Dang, man. This thing, this thing just hits different. And like, I'm nervous to run it like I do the four strokes like real hard. Just because it's a two stroke. <laughs> I feel like those blow up a little bit easier, but maybe I'm wrong. I mean, I've never blew up a bike, I don't plan on it. And you know, I try to take pretty good care of them, you know, maintenance wise and whatnot. So, you know, they normally run right whenever I have them out. I know I'm not all up in the power band. <laughs> oh man. Now I must say, this is definitely giving me way more of a workout. Than all the other four strokes did, because you know I can kind of just lug those around a little bit easier just barely give us some gas and it was going on this one it feels like you know you obviously have to have the speed with the power band and whatnot that's kind of why i'm lugging it around i'm not you know in the top end all the time might turn around and hit that trail real quick that's actually what i'll do A little bit of a wheelie. <laughs> Not gonna let it come up too much. Sit here in second. Third. Oh, wheelie! <laughs> An unexpected wheelie dropped back down a second here. I'm also 
also just not super familiar with these trails, so I don't want to dog myself to death here riding super fast, but I'd say I'm doing okay speed. <laughs> oh, hand knocked off there. I don't know if y'all saw that. I am going to hit that creek section with this bike and see how it does, though. That real rocky section. Oh, yeah. She's... She's handling pretty good. Normally, we go out right there. Let's go this way. Because I don't know what's this way. Hopefully, I don't get too lost out here. Oh, there's a gate. That's what's this way. Oh, I'm in neutral. Alright, good. That wasn't deep. Oh, I didn't mean to shift yet. Oh, well. Yeah, this thing's doing really good. I'm impressed. <sighs> I'm gonna stop up here and wipe my face in just a second because I'm sweating through my helmet here. Just kind of stop right here. <sighs> it's a pretty warm day. Let's hit these power lines a second. We may be able to open it up a little bit out here. <laughs> oh man I'm, I'm not a pro rider man I can't I can't open it up off over all this stuff you know I wish I could I'm not I'm not comfortable enough for one to do that where's my little creek section at that I like to oh oh that fell in there and I like to test these bikes out on I can already tell you the suspension after the rebuild is is wonderful. It feels really good. It's eating up a lot of this real small stuff easy. And this, this engine's got plenty of power to carry me around. And I'm like 220, so... Yeah, it's... I had an 08 way back when. And, you know, it's handling basically like that one. And that one was top end and bottom end rebuild. You know, we just did the top end on this one. Bottom end didn't necessarily need it. Crank and everything was still good, so. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, yeah, we can go on this side, though. There's my creek. Oh. Might rest my hands here a second, and then in there. Yeah, I'm going I'm to rest right here a second. <sighs> cool down for just a minute. We'll cross right here and then we'll hit that creek section and then we'll just kind of ride around for a minute see how it does because we got to get back out to the power lines and if you've watched any of the other dirt dives, sometimes that can be a pain. So hopefully she don't let me down and she'll make it through. I'm going to have to leave my visor open. Clouds came over. The audio might not be the greatest here. Might be a little bit louder, but I can't see because I got my tinted visor on. That's what I use to record these videos in as like a full face, so... 
Oh, I'm going to go right here. But now I'm not straight. I feel weird. But we got to go into it anyway. Oh, I'm in second. Thought she was going to do me better than that, but she dipped straight down into it. And now she's just sticking. I ain't failed that yet. <laughs> she dipped straight down into that mud there, though. Oh, I hit my shin on the on the foot peg. <laughs> oh, that hurts. Oh, my shin. Whew. Rub it up real quick. You're okay, buddy. That one. That one hit me pretty good. All right, here we are at the creek section. Let's see how the KX100 handles it. She cut off on me. Oh! Tried to bump start it right off that rock. It's all right. She'll finish it up pretty easy, hopefully. Hey, kind of forgot about that big rock there. Oh. Another one here. Oh yeah. Oh man. Lug this girl around a minute now. Got me good just then. Their backs in it. some of that arm pump. I think we're good now. I can close my visor. I can see and don't have to focus on nothing too heavy. Oh man. So everything that the big bikes have done, this bike has done it as well. Basically uh, the exact same too. I mean, yeah, it stalled, but I think that was partially me. And it being a two-stroke, I think, from what I remember, they're a little bit easier to stall. Uh, not as much mass rotating in the engine. Uh, oh, man. I, am, I haven't even been riding long, but I'm, I'm kind of wore out. I don't do this very often. 
you know, only every time I finish a bike, but I don't do it every weekend because I ain't got nobody to go with. Let's get out of here and not get hit by somebody. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Oh. I jumped it. <laughs> I tried to. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh. I mean, I don't really know what else more I can ask of it, honestly. It did exactly what I was wanting it to do, and it did. Or I put it through exactly what I wanted to, and it did it, so... I don't really know what else there is to try. <laughs> it's a different different animal when that power band finally kicks in on you that's for sure oh man yeah this bike has 100 percent wore me out than all the other bikes that i brought out here on the dirt dive which is i think only like two or three but they were both four stroke 250s And I think it's partly because you just have to ride this bike a little bit harder to get it to do the same thing as the 250s. What's up here, dude? Probably head back to the truck here in a minute. Okay, so it just comes up right here. Where we've already been. Little wheelie there. <laughs> I will say this bike is extremely easy to wheelie on. I'm not, I can't ride them, but I can pop it up on it very easy. And I think it's definitely easier for me to do it on this bike than the 250s. I don't know if it's just a, a power factor that I'm scared of. I don't want to wreck the, the other bikes or something, but this one seems a little bit easier <laughs> mentally for me to wheelie. And power-wise, I guess, because it's, it seems easier. <laughs> like, there's no way I would have ever tried to do that right there on one of those 250s. Oh, man. I think I'm about to conclude this. I mean, this seems... I'm pretty satisfied, honestly. And, like, I've rode one of these bikes before, so it's not like... I need to experience what it is. It, it's it's performed exactly like I was expecting it would. We lead all of that right there. <laughs> like I said, just a different beast when that power bank kicks in. She loves the wheelie. Yeah, I'm. A, I'm. A, let's let's go back home. I'll give you my final thoughts on this. Now that we're back from the ride, I will give you my final opinion on this bike, and that is, it's a wonderful bike. If you can find one in good condition for a good price, absolutely pick it up. Um, if you're a taller rider, may not want to go with this one just because it is technically a kid's bike. Like I said in the riding part, I uh, I felt weird standing up a little bit on it. It was easy to sit down and ride, but standing up. Also, if you're gonna do much more aggressive 
trail riding rougher stuff you may also want to go with something different as well it handled everything fine but if the terrain was any rougher i probably would have wanted to go with something else that being said this is a wonderful bike and i would buy this bike any day as long as